Now, last time Monkey Island unexpectedly returned, it brought us Tales of Monkey Island, a Telltale series which may not have my favorite gameplay or puzzles in the series, but it has some of my favorite storytelling in the entire saga. And it's no wonder, it was created by a team that included people who had worked on every previous game in the series, including at least a little story consulting by creator Ron Gilbert. And it made the deliberate choice to break from the established Monkey Island formula. Chapter 1 began with what appears to be the ending of a typical Monkey Island adventure, with Guybrush rescuing Elaine from LeChuck. Do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! But then things take a twist. I... I I'm human. That's debatable. The rest of the season features human LeChuck working hard to earn Guybrush's trust, which is an uphill battle for obvious reasons. But eventually, at the end of Chapter 4, the trial and execution of Guybrush Threepwood, Guybrush trusts LeChuck again. Just in time for that titular execution. The guard was more than happy to release me once I convinced him that it was the only way to win Elaine's hand in unholy matrimony. Wait, unholy what? Unholy this! Okay, so I wasn't shocked that LeChuck was lying about being good now, but I was pretty shocked when this happened. While Guybrush has been required to fake his death and curse, this is the only real Guybrush death that is an unavoidable part of the narrative. And yeah, it sure shook things up from the regular Monkey Island formula. Even though we knew deep down that this death wouldn't be permanent, it was still shocking. And Elaine's reaction to it is heartbreaking. Go to hell, LeChuck. Kick his two-faced butt for me. From melee to monkey and all the islands in between, my love. I'll be honest, before this, I always thought that Elaine and Guybrush getting together for good in Curse was kind of forced, but this moment, this made me buy the Guybrush and Elaine romance. On top of things, for those of us who were playing these games when they originally came out, we sat through two recastings of LeChuck over the past four chapters, but this marks the return of the incomparable Earl Bowen in the role. Aren't you dead yet? I've got wedding plans to make. Yes, Earl Bowen, that one guy in that one Newhart episode. And that one guy in those three Terminator movies. The inimitable voice who originated LeChuck and... Sadly, will not be coming back for a turn, but he already played LeChuck three times since retiring from acting. The man's allowed to rest. Out of respect for the newly deceased, I feel I should point out that you wave your sword like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a pox-infected undead cow. Ugh, I love when running gags get to be used as awesome moments. The combination of surprise, emotion, and fan service all come together to make this moment, for me personally, the most entertaining death of Guybrush Threepwood.